Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I've got some simple tips on how you can speed up your iPhone and keep it running smoothly. Let's get started. All right, so let's kick things off with some simple tasks that you can do to help maintain the speed of your iPhone or improve it. First off, it's a very simple one. When you have a lot of applications open, make sure you close them. So double tap the home button and close out those applications you're not using. Another way to keep your phone less cluttered, but also to help with speed, is to delete unused applications. It happens all the time, we get bored of an app. So for example, this Timberman, I haven't been playing it a lot lately, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. So I'm gonna hit the X here and delete it from my account. I'm gonna delete the data, I'm gonna remove it completely from Game Center, and this is gonna help keep things a little bit less cluttered, as well as keep things running smoothly. Another pretty standard thing you should always do is update your application. So inside the app store, if you go to the bottom right, there's an update section here and you can see all the different applications you're, you have and when you've updated them last, what you wanna do is make sure you consistently update them so they're running at their latest firmware. This will avoid errors and slowdowns and things like that. So keep that in mind also to avoid going over data, obviously try to do this over your Wi-Fi connection if possible. The next tip involves the settings application and we're gonna disable the background app refresh. So we're gonna go into general, background app refresh, and we're gonna make sure it's swiped to off. Now this is a great feature if you like your apps to run in the background, that way you can quickly get into them and they're constantly being updated with whatever new stuff is going on within them. But for most people who have iPhone 4s and things run a little bit slow with iOS 7, it's a good idea to turn this off. This is not only gonna help you with speed in terms of the phone's performance, but also this will help with battery life in general for everyone. Moving forward, we're gonna open up our settings application again, and this time we're gonna go to our browser. So we're gonna use Safari here. And what we're gonna do is clear the history and website data. So when you tap on that, tap on clear history and data, and it'll go ahead and clear it all up. And this is a good practice in general for pretty much your computer, any phone, any browser you're using. So if you're using Chrome or anything like that, just go into the settings within the application and make sure that you clear that out regularly. Now another thing you wanna always make sure that you do is update your iOS device and you go into your settings, general and software updates and this will show you what version of iOS you're using right now. As you can see, I'm on iOS 8. So what you wanna do is make sure you're on the latest version software that your device can handle. If you're using an older device like a 3GS or an iPhone 4, you're pretty much at your limit at this point. So things aren't going to run as smoothly as they would with the updated firmware. So if that's the case for you, just understand that in the next little while, you're probably gonna notice things are going a little bit slower in general, and you're probably going to need a new phone sooner rather than later. Now, a good practice with any device is to restart it every once in a while. So especially for people who have an iPhone that's just running a little bit slower, turn it off and on maybe a few times a day or at least once a night. It'll reset everything, and it should give you a little bit more speed in terms of how everything runs. Now, if you ever run into trouble and things are just frozen where you can't move, you can't tap on the iPhone, all you have to do is a hard reset. Hold the power and the home button down at the same time until the iPhone shuts down and then restarts itself. It may take a few seconds. As soon as you see the Apple logo, you can let go and everything should reset. This is basically like restarting your phone, but it allows you to do it when the phone is frozen. Now, I don't know what it is with iPhone 4s and iOS 7, but it seems like most people are having trouble with it. I don't think the iPhone 4 was really made for iOS 7. It's kind of slow, it lags, and it freezes quite a bit. So using this hard reset method will probably be beneficial to you. Also, restarting your iPhone regularly will also probably be the best method for you iPhone 4 users as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you found these tips helpful and useful. Hopefully they help keep your iPhone running smoothly and maintain a good speed. Speed. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment box down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.